All right, hello and welcome. Evening session of Fit Essentials. Let's roll through this disclaimer and then we'll come to our feet and get moving. If you're about to engage in an intense physical activity, proceed with caution. Do not attempt to perform any movements or activity that exceed your current physical capabilities. Participants with injuries, high blood pressure, chronic health conditions, recent chest pain, or that have any other condition that may limit their ability to participate in this activity should consult their physician or healthcare provider before proceeding. All right, let's do it. Feet about hip width apart, palms in front of the chest, three breaths together. We're gonna breathe in nice and deep, stretching up as you breathe. Breathe and reach, exhale, relax. Good job. We're gonna use a total of three breaths here to get ourselves centered. Twice more, stretch and reach, breathe in nice and tall, and let it all go. Fantastic, last time through, breathe and reach. Lifting up out of the hips, up out of the spine, out of your neck, and let it all out as you exhale. Very good, go ahead and pivot to your side, left foot forward, plant that heel, right foot can be up on the ball of the foot or down on the heel. Right hand comes across the body, pull that elbow in and down to the side. Now we're gonna shift the hips and we're pivoting towards that front leg. So I'll show you from the front. Shift the hips and rotate. Get about five times each side, starting to open up the front of the hip here. A little bit of the side body and outer shoulder. Got one more there. Very good, and we'll go ahead and switch legs. Same thing other side, right foot planted, left foot back. Left hand to your right shoulder, pull that in and across. Stand up tall out of the hips and then engage that glute on the left. Shift it forward, rotate to your right. Good job, nice opening on the front of the hip on that right side and look, excuse me, your left side and look over that right shoulder. That once more and then bring it back to center. All right, we're gonna lift up out of the hip. If you prefer the sideline quad stretch, feel free to go into that. Otherwise, grab the left foot, pull that heel towards the glute, and let's go 20 seconds each side, quad stretch. Good job, opening up through the quads, front of the thigh again, so a little bit deeper. If you can't quite get your foot, you can always repeat that stagger stance stretch we just did. Go about another five seconds here. Good, and then we're gonna switch. So again, lifting up out of the support hip, grab the foot or roll to one side. If you chose the sideline position, 20 seconds on this side. A nice breeze here today, enjoying that. 10 more seconds here. Good job, testing that balance a little bit on this one. Two, one, and relax out of there. Very good. Next, we're gonna go uh, calf stretch. So toe up the post or against the doorway, lean into it, stretch out the back of the leg. Good, just kind of shift your weight side to side a little bit, feel where you have some tension in the foot or the back of the calf. Good, and then that same foot that was up, Go ahead and step it back behind, and then just try to bend the knee down and extend. Bend it down and extend. Just getting a little bit different area of that lower leg. Once more there, kneeling in and up. And now let's go ahead and switch sides. So opposite foot, toe up the post first or up a wall. Stand tall, lean into it. We'll go about 20 seconds here. Shifting your weight as needed. Good, let's go about another five to eight seconds, sinking into it. Very good, then when you're ready, that same foot's gonna step back, drop it down, bending that knee down. So I extend the leg and then sink the knee in, trying to keep the heel planted. You'll feel that stretch a little bit in that lower leg, down towards the heel a little bit more. If you have some tension there, sometimes not always, awesome. All right, seated or standing, we're gonna go into a figure four neck. So if you wanna do it standing with me, we'll cross one foot over, and then you're gonna sit the hips back. If 
from the side. I kind of like to hold on to something. I've got the foot crossed over and then just opening up that outer thigh. This also can be done seated. Change up a little bit. Good. Come up out of that side. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Pull the heel up and bowing forward or sit, lean forward if you're seated. Saying hello to the outer hip and glute area. Good. Last stretch here, and then we're going to start to move into a little bit more movement. We're going to do it a little bit different style tonight, alternating between two exercises, about 30 seconds each, and then we'll do that three times with two different exercises. So we're going to start with an alternating hamstring stretch. So stand up tall out of the hip, one heel down, one toe up, hands behind the head, bowing forward and stand. So go ahead and join me. We're going to go 30 seconds here, alternating sides, long spine, heel down, toe up. Bow forward to kind of say hello to the back of the leg. Pause for a moment there and then stand and switch. Very nice. Good job. Let's go about once more on each side. Next, we're going to move into either a stationary march or if you prefer to jog in place, you can jog in place. And here we go. Again, you can jog in place or stationary march. Focusing on that hip stability on this first set, so not letting those hips kick out. Arms at the side. Very nice. Good job. Halfway through, after we finish this 30 seconds, we'll go right back into that alternating hamstring stretch. And then we're going to do this one more time through. All right, five seconds. Good job. And switch. Heel down, toe up, bowing forward down. Alternate sides as you feel. Good job. Ideally the second time through you want to feel like you're a little bit looser, maybe have just slightly more movement as you bow forward. Fantastic. Go once more each side, even yourself out. Very good. And then we'll come back to that march. So if you want to go march and punch across the body, or like I said, if you'd like to jog in place, feel free to jog in place. Good work. Have some fun with it. Good job, halfway. Again, marching your dog in another 10 seconds. Two, one, and bring it down to a walk. All right, gonna go walk those feet out nice and wide, just outside the hips, slight bend the knees. We're going into some alternating windmills. So arms out to the side, hinging over, reach towards the opposite leg, engage the glutes and stand. Over and up, over and up. Well done. Sit. Good job, couple more each time. Nice job. Walk your feet back in. We're going to transition that into some lateral step overs or lateral hops. So pretend you have an imaginary hurdle up and over. There you go. Or you can hop back and forth nice and light. Totally up to you. Knees as high as you're confident. As you lift the knee, lift the foot as well. Good job. It's about another five seconds here. And then we'll cycle once more back to that alternating hamstring, or excuse me, alternating windmill. All right, set the feet out wide, arms off to the side, and then here we go, bowing forward. See if you can reach a little bit farther this time, not overreaching. Over and up. Nice job. Excellent. Go once more each side. Awesome, walk it in. And then final 30 seconds here until we take it down to a stretch and then some glute activation. Up and over, lateral steps or lateral hops. Good job, 10 seconds left.
and two, one, and bring it down for a walk. Feel free to grab water if you'd like. All right, next we're gonna move into some glute activation. If you have like one of those small bands around and you wanna put it around your ankles, you're welcome to grab one of those. Otherwise, you can get some activation without the band. This is a good one to either stand near a wall or something for balance, even if you're young, stable, and healthy, all that stuff. All right, if you are using the band, you're simply gonna put it around the lower legs. We're gonna be doing hip extension. So you stand up tall out of one leg, balance, and then quite simply, you're gonna extend the leg straight back, firing that glute. Toe point straight ahead, and then you bring it in and relax. Back and pause, and relax. So we'll go eight on each side, when uh, we're gonna do a total of two sets with some side stretch in between, in between sets, all right? So standing up out of the hip, whenever you're ready, let's start on that left side. Driving straight back, toe points forward. Really working on warming up through the glutes here tonight, getting those smaller muscles to fire so we can do some good work coming up here, some balancing movements. And about one more, and relax. Awesome. Same thing, other side. Now you'll lift up out of the left, and when you're ready, go ahead and start on the right. Pay attention to the leg that's extending back. You want that foot and toe pointing straight forward. There's usually the tendency for the foot to kind of wing out to the side. Good, couple more. And rest, excellent. All right, you can keep that band on your ankles as long as you feel secure. We're gonna go one hand on the hip, reaching up to overhead, palm towards the ceiling or sky, turn your gaze and side stretch, reach nice and long. Breathe into where you feel that tension. Good job, and then when you're ready, bring it down, hand on the opposite hip, lightly let the hip shift to one side, reach up, looking over the shoulder. Nice deep breaths. And relax there, fantastic. All right, we're gonna do one more cycle of those standing hip extensions. So we're gonna go back to that left side for eight reps here. Toe straight ahead whenever you're ready. Extend and hold, in and relax. job. Fantastic. Once more. Good job. And when you're ready, switch legs. Eight on the opposite side. Good. Couple more. And number eight, excellent. If you have the band on your ankles, please go ahead and step up out of that. And then we're gonna move into some hip circles. So place your feet about hip width apart. We're gonna start with the hip rock. So rocking the hip side to side, stretching out the side of the hip a little bit. Good, and then forward and back. Engage the glutes, push the hips forward. Make sure you don't have any pinch in the back. So lifting up out of the spine as you bow or arch forward. Awesome. And then we'll circle them around. Let's go three times each direction. Well done. And other way. All right, from here, let's just stretch out the inner thighs and then we're gonna move in to an upper body stretch and then we'll fly into our first cycle. So nice wide base stance, tall chest. Again, if you wanna balance on a chair, I'd recommend having it right in front of you or hands as a counterbalance, reaching out in front. You're gonna do a little side lunge. So we're pressing the heel down, knee pushes out. We're looking to get a stretch on this inner thigh. Just really lightly pulsing here, making sure that heel's planted on the side you're pulsing towards. We'll come up to center and switch sides. Very good. Go ahead and walk your feet in once you finish both sides. And then let's start with your right foot stepping in front of the left foot. 
Strong in the core and just gently reaching down for the toes. As far as you're comfortable. And you should feel this a little bit in the outer hip as you're bowing forward. If you're confident here, hang out for about two nice deep breaths into the back. Once more. And go ahead and make your way up. So pay attention, right foot was in front if you followed me. We're gonna uncross. If you'd like to hold on to a chair or a counter countertop or anything, or just do a regular squat, hanging on, coming down to what we call our squat sit. So sitting back, heels planted, knees drive out, and just nice and controlled here, kind of waking up the knees, the hips, ankles, sinking down, and stand. Go between three and five. Nice job, couple more. And a lot of folks that struggle with that full squat, a lot of times this is a good kind of in-between movement to help get that range of motion, keep everything open. All right, now we're gonna go crossover on the opposite side. So like I said, if you followed me, it was the right foot in front. Now let's go left foot in front. Stand tall, core engaged, and forward fold. Reaching down. Again, if you're steady down there and feel all right, hang out for a couple breaths. And when you're ready, make your way up. And we're gonna repeat those squats once more, anywhere between two and five. So you can hang on, or if you're starting to feel a little bit warmer there, sit back and stand. Good depth. There's not any required squatting tonight, but there will be the option in the last piece if you want to add the squat. And always good to kind of work it in. All right. Make your way to a doorway or a tree. We're gonna stretch out the upper body just a little bit. Oops. Come on. All right. Go ahead and start by grabbing on to like the side of the door or side of a chair or something. You're gonna walk both feet back, lean back, and then the opposite arm is gonna reach underneath and turn your gaze under as well. And then you're gonna feel where you feel some tension in the side body, breathe into that area. And on the exhale, try to kind of drop just a little bit more into the stretch, not forcing anything. And then when you're ready, stand up, kind of shake it out a little bit, and then we'll do the same thing other side. Grab on, hang back, and reaching under. Nice deep breaths. Really getting a nice long stretch to the side body, lats, a little bit of low back. Awesome. And now we're gonna work into the chest. So forearm on the post, stepping the inside leg forward, lean into it, and then we're gonna turn away, looking over that shoulder. Feel free to close the eyes. Let's hang out here for three deep breaths. Good, one more. On the exhale, turn just slightly more. Good, and switch sides. Same thing, other side. Elbow about shoulder height, inside leg steps forward. Sink into it, and then you're gonna turn away. Breathe, three breaths, eyes closed. Awesome. All right, and then go ahead and grab the elbow, not arching the back, and let's go five bends to the side. While you're doing five on each side, I'm gonna do a little review or um, intro of what we're doing for first circuit. You're gonna have the option of either a single leg balance or a single leg deadlift. So the balance would be that one leg, okay? Lifting up out of the hip. The deadlift, you can hold weights or not. Hinging over, we did all that glute work to get this leg to fire. So as you're hinging over, that back leg comes up. I'll show it from the side, standing tall, over, 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 and standing from here, okay? We're focused on that back foot, not turning out to the side. So just like we did those hip extensions, toe straight ahead or down towards the floor as you start to bow, all right? So 
to get either the balance or that deadlift. In between legs, we're going to be doing our T push-ups. So either on the floor or I'll demo from an elevated position here. You're going to walk the feet back or hold a nice strong core down to the chest, elbows to the side. When you come to the top, you're going to rotate here over that shoulder. All right, so I'll do the first round elevated and then I'll come down to the ground. We're going to be working for 30 seconds on the single leg work, 60 seconds on the push-ups. Questions? All right, let's do it. Going in 10, starting with the left leg. And we'll have 15 seconds in between exercises, 30 seconds in between sets. Two, one, and here we go. Either your balance or your deadlift, whichever you feel ready for. controlled. Good work. Long reach. And three, two, one, and rotating. Push-ups next. Bring the lock over here, maybe. Actually, I don't want to mess up the internet. We're going to leave it right there. I'm going to do the push-ups facing this way. And three, two, one, and here we go. Last time I pulled the clock closer to me, we lost our hot spot connection. So let us leave it there. Remember to lift up out of that bottom shoulder, rotate, follow your hand with your gaze. 15 seconds done. Remember we have a whole minute here, so you can work with us the whole time or just rest when you need. Breathing. Good work, we're over halfway. Nice job, everybody. 15 seconds left. Watch that low back, whether you're doing elevated push-ups or on the floor, don't let yourself arch. Last one, three, two, one, and rotate. Come back to our feet for a single leg work on the right side. We'll have 30 seconds rest after this leg. Good time to grab a drink. Good work. Lift up out of that hip. Two, one, and go. So either balance or take it into that forward hinge. Whichever one you're doing, keep lifting up. Don't let yourself drop through the hip. Nice work. Welcome back, Heather. <laughs> and three, two, one. And now we'll rest for 30. It's a good time to grab a drink. If you're doing those single leg deadlifts, if you want to hold a little bit of weight, you're welcome to it. Those of you that are doing the balance work, you're also welcome to hold a weight while you do that single leg balance. Little extra challenge. All right, set two, going in five. Back to that left leg. And two, one, begin when you're ready. Stand strong for support. This is the exercise when we do the single leg work here and the single leg deadlift. I usually prefer to do it without shoes on. Got some gravel around me tonight, so I kept the shoes on, but if you're at home and in a good safe position for your feet, sometimes you just feel a little bit more stable without the shoes. And two, one, rotating to those push-ups. Nice work, middle of set two. Place the hands right underneath the shoulders and begin when you're ready. Watch those wide elbows, so keep them in towards your side about 30 to 45 degrees out from the side of the body. And as you rotate, really focus on that support shoulder, lifting up and then pivoting.
Good job. Here's our halfway point. Keep breathing. You need to shake it out. Just come back when you're ready. Or rest the remainder of the set. 15 seconds to go, folks. Good job. And three, two, one. Go ahead and rotate. Head it back to the single leg work. Right leg. All right, five seconds. Set yourself well. Lifting up through the core. And begin when you're ready. If I'm holding only one weight, I like to hold it in the side that the leg is floating back. So I've got my right leg down for support. And I'm holding a dumbbell in my left hand. It's not right or wrong to hold it in the other hand. It's just gonna change it up. I find that holding the opposite hand of the foot kind of helps stabilize and rest. Good job. There's the end of set two. 30 seconds, good time for some water. All right, everybody, we're gonna go one more rotation. I'm gonna take a break from that single leg lifts and go to the single leg stance. If you're doing those deadlifts, please feel free to stay with it. Going in three, two, one, and here we go. Nice work. Nice job, Camille, that's the way. Focusing straight ahead. Good job, Heather. Standing tall at the top, halfway through. Oh, feel the burn. Five seconds. And three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Last round of push ups. Woohoo! Can't say I'm sad about last round of push ups. All right, one in five. Nice wide handprint as well. Use the arms of the hand. Two, one, here we go. Lowering down, up, and pivot. And I guess I should have said this earlier. It does help whether you're elevated or on the floor to have a wider base with your feet. So I usually spread my feet about hip width apart, and that just makes the pivot a lot easier. Wider base of support. Nice work, we're over halfway. Fifteen seconds. And you can come down to the knees. That helps extend one leg off the knee when you rotate two, one, and all done with those. Awesome. Last time on the single leg. Going in five. Right leg this time. Two, one, lift up and hold, or bowing forward for the hinge. I don't know about you, but my weight on the single leg support, I tend to kind of rotate to the outside of the foot to keep finding the center, pushing the big toe down. Get that arch of the foot to activate. It's gonna help support all the way up through. Nice job. Five seconds left, almost there. Two, one, and done there. Awesome, grab a drink. We'll do a couple stretches, and then we'll cycle into the next round. All right, we're just gonna Go with our behind the back stretch, interlacing the hands, extend out through the chest, so squeeze those shoulder blades back, wide base stance, either stay here tall or sending the hips back, bow forward, pull the arms up to overhead. If you can't quite reach your hands together, hang on to a band or a towel. 
then when you're ready, make your way up. Awesome. And just kind of shake out the arms. Very good. And then up at 90 degrees, call these scarecrow arms. So we're going to close them down and open it up. Close and open. Five times there. Good job. Awesome. All right. Next, we're going to be doing side planks and tricep extensions. So let me just show you the two different options. If you want to repeat that tricep stretch that we did before the last set, that's a good one to do while I'm talking here. So the elevated side plank, you can support and then pivot and hold up here. Okay. And then you can stay standing for the tricep kickback. Recommend a lighter weight. You're going to hold the upper body, or excuse me, upper arm parallel to your torso, and then you extend the elbow and rotate the palm to the ceiling. So I bend the elbow, extend, and rotate. So that'd be ideal if you're doing the elevated plank. You also can work down on the floor. We're either on the knees or on the toes for your side plank. And then when we switch to the tricep, you can stay on all fours. Again, same idea, arm here and then extend back, okay? So two options. We're gonna be going 30 seconds side plank, starting on the left, 15 seconds to transition, 30 seconds of kickbacks on the left, and then we repeat on the right side. If there are no questions, let's go ahead and get into position. Go one in five on that left arm. So stack the arm or on that elevated position. And three, two, one, here we go. Up and hold. I'll look to give you every 10. First 10. Nice job. Lifting up out of that bottom arm. 20 seconds done. Good strong support. Nice work. Three, two, one and rest. We're going to pivot around extensions on that left arm. These also can be done if you have a band. This may have to take a little bit longer rest just to show this if you don't have a, you could like stand with the band and extend and bend here if you don't have a weight to do for the kickback. All right. Sorry about the delay. Two, one, here we go. Palm up. back. Kind of pause as you rotate the palm and then bring it back in. Good work. 10 seconds left. There you go. Two, one, and rotate. Good. So that's the left side. Now we do that same idea on the right, starting with the plank. 15 seconds between sides. We have a total of three sets. And two, one, begin. Three is typically our standard number, just depending upon the movements. Ten seconds down. Good work. We're over halfway on this plank. Keep lifting up to the hips, lift up out of the shoulder. We're over 20 seconds in. Breathe and hold. Two, one, rest. Good job. Tricep extensions on the right. All right, going in five. Again, the upper arm stays parallel to the torso. Begin when you're ready. Extend the elbow. Pivot the hand, palm faces ceiling. And then when you understand the movement, try to just look straight ahead, meaning like down at your hand so your neck's not kind of cranked up all funky. 10 seconds left. Sometimes I'm not always the best demo of that because I'm checking you out on the screen or checking the clock. So two, one, and there's our first set. Awesome. We're gonna keep with our 15 seconds for all three sets here. So if you need a little bit longer break, just give it to yourself. Five seconds till we go plank on the left. 
and begin when you're ready. Up and hold. Float right through this tonight. Good job. There's 10. Planks are the most exciting thing we do, but they're one of the best things we can do for our spine. There's 20. Get a lot of that stability control to help prevent back pain over our lifetime. Two, one, and rest. Good work, folks. Kick backs on that left arm. All right, five seconds. And begin. Up and hold, extend and rotate. Good job, halfway through. Almost there. And rotate. Awesome. Halfway through the whole series, side plank on the right. You're always welcome to jump in early if you want, get a little extra plank if you want to hold longer than 30. Two, one, here we go. Extra credit, we call it. Good job, there's 10. Halfway. And you can either reach overhead like I am or hand on the side, whatever feels good. We're over 20 in, 25, two, one, done there. Good job. Into round two coming up, triceps on the right arm. All right, go ahead and get into position. Up and parallel to the torso, begin when you're ready. Kick back, extend. Halfway through. There you go. About one more, two, one. Getting ready for our last round. Side plank on the left is next. All right, stack that elbow right underneath that shoulder. Lift up through the shoulder and come on up. These static holds are a good time to notice what your self-talk like. I know I've had years of patterns of poor self-talk being too critical. We're 15 seconds in, but we can always rewire whatever it is that we say to ourselves. There's 50, 20 seconds done. So use exercise as a time to reinforce positive thoughts. Talk to yourself like you would a good friend and rest. Beating ourselves up does not move us towards progress. Left arm extension. In fact, a lot of times it hinders us towards progress. Two, one, here we go. Triceps on the left. And then it just re really requires lots of patience, lots of compassion to change those patterns. Because you got to think about how long have you been talking to yourself in a way that's not supportive. So a lot of times that wiring, the patterns in our brain are heavily laid down, so it really takes a lot of focus and patience. Start a new pattern. And there we go, resting there. Fantastic, final plank coming up. Just checking the last piece of the workout to make sure I wasn't lying about that. <laughs> Stack that elbow underneath the shoulder, square the hips, and begin when you're ready. Lots of ways to create variety in planks as well. You can do like plank rotations, plank hip taps. We'll be introducing different variations over time. Sorry, I forgot to tell you every 10. We're 18 seconds in, there's 20. Almost there for 35 more seconds, lifting and holding. Good quality position. 
and rest. Awesome, final set of tricep work. A little bit of a challenge today. We're doing some tricep work. And then the last piece, we've got some overhead work. All right. Arm in position and begin. Good job. Coming up on halfway. Five seconds. And rest. Excellent. If you're on the floor, go ahead and stay on down here. If you're not on the floor and can join us, go ahead and join us or just mimic as well as you can from the chair. We're going to go ahead and stretch out the hips a little bit before we move into our last piece. So glute stretch first. On the back, extend one leg out, pull one leg up towards your same side shoulder and then gently bring it across the body. We're gonna get into the glute here. We're gonna go 20 seconds here. Relax the eyes closed, focus on the breath. And then just feel where that hip might start to loosen a little bit. You can kind of move it around, see if you find tension elsewhere in the joint. And relax with same thing other side. Extend one leg, pull the knee towards the same side shoulder, and then bring it across the torso, across the chest, towards the opposite shoulder. Good, 20 seconds here. And rest. Good, from glute stretch to figure four. So foot on the opposite thigh, try to rest the head back or sit tall, lean forward, grab the leg, pull it in. 20 seconds here. And if you want, if you're on your back and you wanna add the hamstring into it or moving the sciatic around, you can extend that other leg. I see some of you on the screen already doing it. Stand up, point the foot away, pull the foot toward your face. Bend the knee down, hug it in. One more cycle of that. Awesome, switch when you're ready. Hug it in, check the time. All right, 20 seconds here. You can either just a straight figure four or with the sciatic nerve floss, send them point the foot towards your face, bend the knee back down. Good job, once more. When it bends down, really hug that leg in, continue to open through the hip and then rest. All right. Next, we're gonna go legs up and together. Again, if you're seated in the chair, just kind of rotate side to side, looking over one shoulder, then the other shoulder. If you're on the floor with me, Core engage and gently bring the legs towards one side while you look over the opposite shoulder. Let's go as far into the stretch as you're comfortable. Let's get between two and three on each side. Again, looking, following the head in the opposite way that the legs are falling. Well done. All right, and then while I'm starting to talk about the next piece, Let's finish on your back with a few glute bridges. So engage the glutes, push the hips up and forward. Watch any pinching in the back. So we don't want any pinching in the lower back. Just up and down there a few times. Anything else you want to add? For the last piece, we have two exercises with as always, or not always, but most of the time, two variations. So the first one, we're going to be working for 40 seconds, resting for 20. So each round is two minutes in length. Our options on the movement are an overhead press, alternating arms, or an alternating thruster, which might be the first time of you. I'm gonna show you seated first. So if you have a band and you just wanna do the overhead press, you can push one side up and then the other side up. So up and down, seated or standing. I just happen to be down here, so I'm showing that. All right, otherwise, if you wanna see the thruster, 
Well, first, all seat overhead press standing. Look at this, pushing high, and so on. With the squat, you come down. As you come up, you push one arm up to overhead, bring it down, back to your squat, and now the opposite arm goes overhead. So ideally, you have weights in each hand and alternating sides, okay? Or you could always do the little push press too. If you wanna find the middle ground of those and do the quarter squat, all right? After we do that for 40 seconds, we rest for 20, and then we transition to a sumo deadlift or a sumo deadlift high pull. Let's talk about the sumo deadlift first. Wide base stance, hinging at the hip. If it's easy for you to touch your toes or you're confident touching the toes, it might be appropriate to take it all the way to the floor and then stand. If it's really tough for you to get that mobility down to the floor, then you might not wanna go all the way to the ground, but come to like knee height and you can switch hands up top or at the base, whichever you prefer. But we're alternating hands throughout, okay? And then our advanced variation is that high pull. So same idea, you stand, but then finish with elbow high above the shoulder, switching arms, standing elbow up. 40 seconds there, rest for 20, and that's our cycle. We'll work for a total of 10 minutes. Every round is two minutes long. So if you wanna work for two, rest for two, feel free. Otherwise, we'll be moving through for all five seconds. Any questions before we roll into that? All right, now let's go in five, starting with all train overhead press or thrusters. And three, two, one, here we go. Pushing high, alternating sides, good job. I got this like little palm tree branch right in my face, kind of funny. Needs a little trimming. Good, halfway. Ten seconds. Two, one, and we're resting. Good job. Twenty seconds to rotate. Sumo deadlift or sumo deadlift high pull next. I'll start with the deadlift on set one and then do the other movements on the later sets. Going in five, stand tall, feet are about a hip width apart, slight toe out, hinging over, here we go. Engage the glutes, over down, and switch. Good job, standing tall, squeeze the backside. Breathe. Just try to move nice and steady on this first set. If you feel more confident as you get warm, you can always go faster as you get moving into the movements. Always great to kind of use that first set as a primer. See how the body's feeling. Good, and rest. Excellent, everybody, there's set one. Right, either stick with that overhead press or if you want to follow me on the alternating thruster, go in in five. So squat with stance, about hip width apart, slight toe out. Here we go. Good job. Nice job, with chest nice and tall, halfway through. Good, almost there. Two, one, and rotate. Fantastic, deadlifts or high pulls next. Either way, feet a little bit wider than the squat, slight toe out. Make sure you're not slouching here. So it's right over the shoulder, shoulders over the hips rather. Two, one, here we go.
If you are doing the high pull, think about elbow to straight up to the sky or up to the ceiling. Most common thing I see is people will have the elbow low or try to drive it back behind them. And then head position. So looking straight ahead at the top, looking down towards the floor at the bottom. I guess it helps when you're switching hands because you got to kind of see where you're grabbing on anyhow. Good work, we're almost there. And rest. Awesome, two down, upwards of three to go. All right. Overhead press or alternating thruster. Two, one, and begin. Great work. If you're doing that squat, good control into the bottom. Try not to bounce down there. You could always squat to a chair or a bench as well if you're not quite sure or don't quite feel stable in the bottom position. Awesome, we're well over halfway now. Three. Two, one, and three sets done of the overhead work. Third round coming up on the high poles or deadlifts. All right, 10 seconds. You always wanna have that weight right underneath the center of gravity. So as close to your feet as you can, standing tall, hinging forward, and begin. So and if you're doing just a deadlift piece, you can also have like your dumbbell vertical. So then it kind of keeps you from having to go down quite as far. Just sit it on the end of the dumbbell and switch from there instead of having it flat. Say it's about three inches or so on that hinge. Nice work, everybody. Two, one, and that's the end of round three. Awesome, we're over halfway. Ten seconds. I'm just gonna for fun do a round. If you wanted to squat to a chair, kind of alternate it up. Show that for a change. Two, one, and go. So we would touch the square chair, stand and drive. If you're squatting to a surface, similar how do we, how we avoid bouncing the bottom, you want to avoid plopping down onto your surface. So control back and chest tall. And in an ideal world, we would have different heights of the level that you're squatting to, so that over time, as you gain that ability and confidence, you can gradually squat a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper. Two, one, and done there. Excellent. Four rounds down of the overhead press. Don't let me speak too soon on the deadlifts. 10 seconds till we go on the dead. Deadlift or high pull? All fine and begin. Good job. So we're at the end of the second to last round. You could either be focused on having that consistent pace or if you have good energy today and want to look to move faster and just kind of try to push the edge just a little bit. Still having strong, solid mechanics, engaging those glutes, staying long in the spine, which is a little bit more intention around the pace of your movement. Good work. Two, one, and that's the end of four. Awesome, just one more set to go, folks. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and let's finish strong. Nice. Oh, 
Good. As you press overhead, try to think about bringing that weight right, right over the center of your head. So instead of out to the side, right over your center of gravity. Good job. Over halfway. Steady breathing. Five seconds. Two, one, and done. Are we all done on that one? Final exercise coming up. Minus the stretching. Yeah, stretching counts as exercise. Uh, but at least he doesn't have us breathe quite as much. Staying tall, hinging at the hips, and finish solid. Deadlift or high pull. Elbow high if you're going with that high pull. Straight up towards the ceiling. And then just watch not to knock yourself in the chin with the dumbbell. I have chipped a tooth once. One of those memorable moments. <laughs> Learn from your coach's mistakes. Nice work, 10 seconds to go. Still firing the glutes as you stand tall. Two, one, and all done. Awesome, give yourself a round of applause, high fives. Woo! All right, let's grab a drink and let's come down to the floor for a cool down stretch. Awesome, thanks for joining me and moving with me today. All right, let's go ahead and come on to all fours. If you can't get down, just mimic the best you can from standing or kind of lean onto a table. We're gonna go hands underneath the shoulders, knees come together, and then we're gonna do our quadruped hip rock. Bring in one hip down towards the side and up and across side to side here. Very good. Once you finish that, we're gonna open up the inner thigh, kick one leg out to the side, turn the back foot under onto the toe, and then you're gonna gently rock the hip back towards the heel, reach the arms long in the front. Rock and back. Let's go three to five here. About one more, and then we'll kick out the other leg. Same thing on the other side. Let's go from the front this time. Just one leg out and rock him back. Again, looking to open through the thigh. Sometimes you'll feel it in the lateral lower leg. If you're holding tension there, just depends. We're gonna go child's pose next. So after you finish your rock, go ahead and rock the feet in, or walk the feet in. Toe together, toes together, knees divide. Reach the hands out in front and then rock both hips back. Drive the head between the arms. And breathe into the back of the body. Good. We're gonna walk the hands to one side, reach the arm long, and then drop back here for a side stretch. Or child's pose side stretch more accurately. Good, up and together. When you're ready, walk the hands towards the opposite side. Reach that hand and drop back. Good, and we're gonna finish with the quads on the side. So the side line, either on the elbow or outstretched arm, grab the foot, pull that heel towards the glutes. Very good, and go ahead and switch sides when you're ready. 
20 seconds here. Good. So this will be our last the guided stretch. Feel free, especially those that are on live and are recording this in the evening hour. I recommend just kind of roll it onto your back. Rest the arms out to the side and just take a couple minutes to yourself after this ends to breathe. So to shift your nervous system from that workout position and to rest and digest, start to unwind for the night. And thanks so much for coming, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this recording. Oh, my nighttime lights came on here. I can't see it. <laughs> All right. Thanks again for taking care of yourself and showing up. Look forward to seeing you next time.